Okay, uh, we are going to review measurements. So we did this in class, but if you need to look back at it again, um, this would be a great resource. Okay, so in order to fill in the first section on the notes page that we had, we really do need to make sure that we understand um, what the abbreviations are, what they stand for. Okay, so remember that lowercase t is going to be teaspoon. Okay, capital T is going to be tablespoon. C is going to be cup. PT is going to be pint. QT is going to be quart. GAL is going to be gallon. LV is pound. OZ is ounce. And then the degree, capital F, is going to be Fahrenheit. So F A H. R E N H E I T. Okay, for some of these, I do have tricks that I'm going to try to show you so that you can remember, um, you know, what the equivalents are. For others, you may just have to commit them to memory. So, for example, um, this one I don't have a good trick for. One cup is equal to eight fluid ounces, and then there are 16 ounces in a pound. We'll come back to this one, but if you remember that there are eight fluid ounces, once we figure out how many tablespoons are in a cup, you will be able to figure that one out. Okay, so I am going to draw you a picture to try to help you to figure out how we can better break this down. So if we start with a square, and this square is equal to one cup, we know that we can break this one cup down into smaller parts. Okay, so we know for sure that this is one half cup, okay? And then this is also one half cup. Okay, but we can break that down even further. So I, Going to erase that. I'm going to draw a dotted line on that top section because I want to show you that we can make one half with a one fourth cup and a one fourth cup. So even though I haven't written it up here, you know that this would also be one fourth cup this would also be one fourth cup, okay? Because it's just representing a fraction. So it's one of the four portions of that cup. Okay, but we can break that one fourth cup up into smaller sections as well. So let's say for this section, we break it down into tablespoons. This would be one tablespoon, one tablespoon, one tablespoon and one tablespoon. But we can break down one of those one tablespoons and turn it into teaspoons. So I'm gonna break this section down into three smaller sections. So one teaspoon, one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Remember that it is a T E A spoon. And if you can remember that, you can remember that there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So a teacup is smaller than a table. Um, a teacup is smaller than a tablespoon. Or a teaspoon is smaller than a tablespoon. Okay, from here, we are going to be able to fill in some of the information that we have. Okay, so if we look, we know that there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. And we just answered that one, okay? We can also look at one fourth cup, okay? So we know that in one fourth cup, there are four tablespoons, okay? But we know that in a half of a cup, 
there's two one-fourths. So if one-fourth of a cup has four tablespoons, then two one-fourth cup, which is equal to one-half cup, is going to have eight tablespoons. Okay, so then if we add another fourth, and if every time we add a fourth of a cup, we're adding four tablespoons, we would then have three-fourths cup equals 12 tablespoons. Okay, and then if we have you know, three-fourths cup is 12 tablespoons. If we add one more one-fourth cup of four tablespoons, we know that one cup is equal to 16 tablespoons. Okay, so now if we go back to this one, one tablespoon is equal to how many fluid ounces? Okay, if we know that one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces, okay, and there are 16 tablespoons in one cup, we would know that one tablespoon equals one half of a fluid ounce. Okay, but now I'm gonna have you draw another picture. Okay, so remember our story about Gallon Castle. So once upon a time, there was a castle and that castle was Gallon Castle. Okay, so let's draw Gallon Castle right now. So in Gallon Castle, there was not one, not two, not three, but four queens. Okay, so we have our four queens in Gallon Castle. Okay, each queen had a prince and a princess. So we're gonna put those with the queens. And in order to teach each prince and princess responsibility, each prince and princess got two cats. Okay, so now this picture is gonna help us to remember or to fill in um, some of these. So if we look, one pint is equal to how many cups? Okay, so in one pint there are two cups. Okay, so now let's look at the quarts. Okay, so in one quart, we're trying to figure out how many pints. Okay, so within one quart there are two pints. Okay, and then if we want to look at the entire gallon, we're trying to figure out how many quarts are in a gallon. So there's one, two, three, four, represented by our four queens. Okay, so now let's take a look at the next portion of um, your notes page. Okay, so I think the easiest way is going to be to start with the standard set of measuring spoons and the standard set of measuring cups. Okay, so remember that a standard set just means that if you buy this set from any store, they have to include these four. They can have extra, but they have to include these four. So we want to only be thinking about things in terms of the standard set. Okay, so in a standard set of measuring spoons, our largest measuring spoon is going to be one tablespoon. Okay, then if we take a step down, so the next smallest is going to be one teaspoon. Okay, then the next smallest is going to be one half teaspoon. Okay, and then the smallest of the standard set of measuring spoons is going to be one quarter teaspoon. Okay, so then again, in a standard set of measuring cups, they can include extra, but they are only required to have these four. Okay, so it's going to be one cup is the largest, one half cup is the next step down, one third cup is the next step down from there, and then one fourth cup is the next step down below that. Okay, so remember the trick I taught you that um, it goes, you know, if you made one, the whole number a fraction, it would be one over one, and the next one, one over two, and the next one, one over three, and the next one, one over four. Okay, so that's a good way to help you remember. Okay, so now if we take a look over here, we can really pretty easily figure out which is larger. Okay, so between one half cup and three fourths cup, three fourths cup is going to be the larger of the two measurements. Okay, then if we look at one fourth cup and one third cup, 
as we see over here, one third is going to be larger than one fourth. Okay, so that is going to be our correct answer. Okay, so now if we think about that picture we drew before, um, one fourth cup equals four tablespoons, so that is going to be larger than two tablespoons. Okay, so then if we look at one half cup or one fourth cup, one half cup is going to be larger because one half cup has two one fourth cups in it. Okay, so then if we look at one and one third cup or one and one fourth cup, don't let that one cup fool you, okay? One third cup is going to be larger than one fourth cup so we can cancel those out. Okay, and then the last one on here is every amount of liquid needs to be measured using a measuring cup. Okay, so while a lot of liquids need to be measured using a measuring cup, anything that is below one fourth of a cup needs to be measured using your measuring spoons. So that is going to be false. Okay, so now we're gonna start filling in that back chart. So the chart that's on the back side of that piece of paper. Um, and we're gonna figure out how do we measure out each of these um, amounts of measurements in half and in double. So if we're changing the yield of the recipe, I am going to require that you know how to cut a recipe in half and how to double the recipe. Okay, so when we cut them in half and when we double them, we always want to make sure that we are using the most efficient measurement as if we were using a standard set of measuring cups. Okay, so for example, if I were to measure out one cup, okay, but I needed to double it, you would think that I would just write two cups, okay, but we don't have a two cup measuring cup, so I would write it as one cup plus one cup. Okay, um, let's start with the halves and then we'll move on to the doubles. But I just wanted to let you know that we're always going to measure as if we were measuring with a standard set and using the most efficient measurement. So instead of um, putting four tablespoons for double of two, um, two tablespoons, we would want to measure out one fourth cup. So we're not, you know, standing and measuring out one tablespoon, one tablespoon, one tablespoon, one tablespoon. Okay, so half of one cup is one half cup. Okay, half of three fourths cup gets a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna draw a picture to kind of help you visualize. Okay, so if three fourths of a cup is going to look like this, we want to get rid of half. Okay, so if I got rid of half the tablespoons in this one. I would know that this is one tablespoon, one tablespoon. And I wanted to get rid of half the tablespoons in this one, one tablespoon, one tablespoon. Okay, and I got rid of half the tablespoons in this section. I know that it's two, four, six tablespoons, but that's not our most efficient measurement because there are four tablespoons in a fourth of a cup. Okay, so it makes more sense for us to measure out one fourth cup plus one tablespoon plus one tablespoon. Okay, so now for measuring out half of two thirds cup, if the way that you measure out two thirds cup is a one third cup and a one third cup, we're just gonna measure out one of those one third cups. Okay, so the answer is just going to be one third cup, okay? Half of one half cup is going to be one fourth cup. Okay, this one gets a little crazy. So the tablespoon and teaspoon equivalent of one third cup is five tablespoons and one teaspoon. Um, so you can figure that out. Um, or you can just remember that this one's the crazy one and it's one tablespoon plus one tablespoon plus one teaspoon plus one te teaspoon. So two tablespoons and two teaspoons. So one tablespoon plus one tablespoon plus one teaspoon plus one teaspoon. Okay, half of one fourth cup. Um, so if we start with four tablespoons and we get rid of two of them because that's half, we're left with two tablespoons but we don't have a two tablespoon measuring spoon, so we're going to measure out one tablespoon 
plus one tablespoon. Okay, if we're measuring out half of two tablespoons, half of two is one, and we do have a one tablespoon measuring spoon, so we're just going to leave it. Okay, for one tablespoon, we might have to break this down into teaspoons. Okay, so one tablespoon equals three teaspoons. Half of three is one and a half, so it's going to be one teaspoon plus one half teaspoon. Okay, half of two teaspoons is going to be one teaspoon because half of two is one. And then half of one teaspoon is going to be one half teaspoon. Okay, now moving on to the doubles. Three-fourths of a cup doubled would be six-fourths, but that's not the most efficient measurement. Um, so we are going to change three-fourths plus three-fourths, okay, which would be six-fourths, okay, and that's going to be one and two-fourths, but we have a better way to measure out one and two-fourths. It's going to be one and one-half. Okay, but remember, we don't have a one and one half measuring cup, so we're going to write it as one cup plus one half cup. Okay, same thing with two thirds. Two thirds doubled would be four thirds, but we're going to simplify that to make it one cup plus one third cup. Okay, the double of one half cup is just going to be one cup. The double of one-third is two-thirds, but we don't have a two-thirds measuring cup, so we're going to measure it out as one-third cup plus one-third cup. Okay, the double of one-fourth cup is going to be one-half cup because one-fourth cup plus one-fourth cup equals one-half cup. The double of two tablespoons is going to be four tablespoons. We already talked about this one. Four tablespoons is equivalent to one fourth cup, so that is our most efficient measurement. Okay, the double of one tablespoon is two tablespoons. Since we don't have a two tablespoon measuring spoon, it's just going to be one tablespoon plus one tablespoon. The double of two teaspoons is going to be four teaspoons, but we have a better way to measure that. So we have our four teaspoons, but three of them can be combined to turn into a tablespoon. We're gonna be left with one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. Okay, and then the double of one teaspoon is going to be two teaspoons. We don't have a two teaspoon measuring spoon, so we're going to measure it as one teaspoon plus one teaspoon. There you have it.